Next thing Jerry and I did after we got done putting the trim in the house was we came in my storage room. I had some leftover pine, so we put it up in here. Got some more to do, got to get some more insulation. We ran out of insulation, but we're finishing up this room. And while we were working in there, we heard this loud like crash. And I said, what was that? And we both ran out here to see what was going on. And we discovered this. It still came up while you can hardly see it. You see this, see this log? So the top of that tree right there just fell. There hasn't been any wind. I don't know what happened, but the tree just crashed, landed in the spring. You can see some of the debris that's fallen down here. But I got to thinking, man, I am glad the kids was not down here because they are in this area all the time playing. And that, that would have been catastrophic. They could have died if that would have fell on them. So what I'm going to do is, I, and I think Jerry said he thinks it could be an elm tree. They're a softwood. Um, I think they're kind of known for this. And I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, possibly five of them right here, right by the spring. And so I'm going to cut them all down. I don't want them anywhere near the house. In fact, that one, uh, we've already had to kind of trim it. That's those limbs that are going back towards the cabin. So I'm going to cut these down. I've got a tree that's leaning this way right there. I'm going to cut it down. I got a cedar tree over here that's leaning this way. I'm going to cut it down. So I got some tree trimming to do, some tree maintenance to do. But anyway, again, I'm just so thankful the kids was not down here when that happened because it, it uh, would have been really bad. Anyway, so we're done for the day. And I still have no road going to the cabin. As you can tell, I just went through a really wet spot and muddy spot. Uh, I've been coming in through the government access that's back there. Uh, we do have the other access that we, you guys have probably seen in some previous videos that is further down that way. It's a little bit shorter this way coming across, so we've been kind of coming in this way. But again, it's just really muddy. Uh, I've met with Dozer guys. I've had a really bad experience with Dozer guys, um, with Dozer people who have a Dozer excavating business. I've had lots of times where they will tell me they're going to be at my location or they'll they'll give me hey i'll be there in two weeks and then i never hear from them and then when i reach out i still don't hear back from them and so i go to the next dozer guy so far right now i'm on my third excavating guy and we're just waiting on the weather he has been in good communication with me which is something i appreciate when you're running a business be in communication with your customers that's very important and this guy is so as soon as it dries up a little bit then i'm going to have the road be put in so that we can use and so that our guests can use while they come and stay but i just kind of wanted to show you and give you an update on what's going on with our road so for insurance purposes we've got to put a railing around our deck and i was looking for something that was obviously kind of fit our cabin style because I didn't want like your traditional style deck system. The other thing I wanted to make sure and do with our deck was to be able to see through it. I didn't want those vertical spindles to be blocking your view like a lot of decks are, you know, where they got to be four inches apart. I didn't want that in our deck system. I want you to be able to sit on the deck and look through it and still see the wildlife, still see the spring and all that. So here's what we come up with. These are called stock panels. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm yelling, but generator's always on while we're here working. Anyway, stock panels. It's just a galvanized wire, it's welded together. It's everything just like a normal deck, but with this, you can see through it easily. These squares, are, I think, are uh, six inches by maybe seven inches, eight inches. I'm not sure it's on the exact diameter, but it's gonna work great, gonna allow you to see through the deck, and it's also gonna keep people from falling off the deck. And the stock panels are really fast to put up too. You just cut it to width at three feet is what we did. And then you just use a, a staple, like a fence staple. And you just staple them in 
in different sections. A steeple, steeple, staple, potato, potato. So Lane for a long time has always wanted an outside shower. And so I told Jerry we want an outside shower. And so he's come up with, with this idea, which I think is pretty cool. Now we don't have it all completely done yet, but here it is. So Jerry built this box and then what's inside of it is our handles. So our shower head's right here and we've got, we've got a different shower head. We're gonna put like a, a rain it's an adjustable arm that's like a rain head, so it'll actually be above you. But uh, Jerry said we need to keep you know, all the plumbing inside this wall and also out of the weather. And so he built this really cool box. Isn't that cool? I just loved it. I just love it. So you just, you know, when you're ready, you can turn on your shower here. And uh, for the drain, you know, once, once you're done taking a shower, He's, he's gonna have a little uh, a spigot here that's connected to the shower head. So when you're done to keep, you know, if, especially if you take it in the winter time, you don't want the pipes freezing, is you just turn this on down here and that'll let the water out that was there. Really cool, I'm excited to use that. And we're gonna build a box around it with a door obviously. So you got some privacy because windows right there, but it's really cool. It's on the back side of the house back here. So uh, kind, of, kind of secluded, kind of hidden away. I don't know if anybody will use it, but Lane and I will. I think it's, I think it's really cool. So we're getting ready to build our walls for our outside shower. First thing we gotta do is pour pad. So we're gonna do a three by four concrete pad and the outside walls, that's the dimensions. And when we pour the pad, we gotta make sure that we uh, have everything draining away from the house. So we're kind of figuring out, instead of keeping it level, have it slanting down just a little bit. And, got and a mistake where there's no rocks. <laughs> Good luck on that. We got plenty of rocks here in Missouri. So I'm out of memory on my good camera, so I'm shooting a little bit from my iPhone. We're in the process of making the outside shower. You guys seen us earlier, we made the forms where we're gonna have the base at. We're mixing up the concrete now. Uh, this is just a Portland mix with uh, just your normal creek gravel with sand mixture. Mix that up with some water till you get it nice and charcoal. And let Jerry do all the work. But I was doing that until I grabbed the camera. Oh, uh, yeah, I found it all. Yeah. So then what we did was we dug out some holes where we got the 4x4 four four treated post. Dug those down. Now we're laying the concrete in the forms. And then uh, we'll put on the sides. Which would be pretty simple. So we've almost got the outside shower done. We just built the walls out of treated lumber. We're getting ready to cut some of the old red barn tin and we're just gonna put it on the sides and then we'll be done with it. We put a, a top plate here so while you are in the shower, you can put soaps, shampoos, whatever up here. Uh, I'm six foot so I think this is probably a little over five foot right here. Now, short people, like my kids, may have a little bit of a difficult time. We may have put another shelf uh, midways uh, just to put stuff down there if you need to. To cover up the sharp edges of the tin, Jerry made these little piece of trim. 
Is that all it is? Can cover up. Raise your hand like. Yep. So that's a wrap on our outside shower. What do you guys think? I really, really like it. I think it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna put some steps in down here as you come around the corner to get up into it. I love this little door. I love the shower, how it's gonna be like a rain, you know, just above you. That's it for outside shower. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time.